Hello YouTubers, welcome to my NASAC channel. In today's video, I'm going to show how to use Potena to deploy Next Cloud with MariaDB database. In my previous video, I showed how to deploy Next Cloud, but I wasn't really using MariaDB. So to complete this part, today's video, I'm going to show you how to do this correctly. First thing we need to install MariaDB. I'm gonna just quickly to go through this setup. Let's put a name network using bridge and then put a password. Then we can deploy MariaDB. We are using a random port. So we got a 32766. That was simple and easy to deploy a MariaDB. Second thing we need to do is uh, deploy next cloud container. Next cloud latest, it's a label latest, and then uh, we need to publish a new port, which is important. Uh, we use 8080 to map into 80. And the network we're gonna use in bridge. The star policy always. And then that. We are good to go. Since I already downloaded the image before, so this wasn't taking long, just a couple of seconds, and then it's been deployed. I already opened my firewall to allow port 8080 to go through. So I'm using Microsoft Azure and the letter of my public IP. Now we can make a test using port 88. We can do some testing here. This is my host. can log into MariaDB to make a test. Password is that one we just put it in. It's empty. Just built in three databases. We have nothing there. Which is good for us. Okay, last system is up, next cloud system is up. As you can see from here. So what we can do, we need, just need to make a connection, configure the connection from next cloud web GUI to our MariaDB here. Do you see this IP? So we need to create a username for future to use. Log in for future to log into our next cloud. Into select our database using MySQL database user using root, which we just verified. Database name you can use any name you want. I just put next cloud one. So here is a little bit different. As you can see, we are not using local host. We need to use our mapping the IP 32766. This port, the IP will be 172.17.0.1. That's our bridge IP. So that's our local host, the host bridge IP. We can test that using, so this is our host. As you can see, we have 172.17.0.1. Since our container has a bridge network to it, so our container is all getting 172.17, this IP from 2, 3, 4, 5. But the mapped IP to 32766 is on 172.17.0.1. We can have a test on that, tell on that, 172.17.0.1. 
3-2-7-6-8. The reason why, we, why the connection fails is because the port is 3 2 7 6, 8. That was my mistake. It's not easy to find. So, uh, as you can see, Telnet confirmed the port is open. So we can just using this port and 32768. You don't need to install recommended apps at this moment. You just need to finish setup. If there's anything wrong in this configuration page, you will get an error message here. So you're gonna take a couple of minutes to finish this configuration and page gonna come back and then we can log in. Again, the whole idea is next cloud to talk to MariaDBs on a port 32768. And the MariaDBs IP has been mapped to the bridge that gateway 172.17.0.1, this interface. So basically, next cloud just need to talk to 172.17.0.1, which is our host, the port 32768. After a couple of minutes, the configuration setup has been completed. Next club hub page shows up. You can browse through it, or we can just start to use our next cloud. Of those activities, those are all building photos. That's my setup to use a um, container to install Nextcloud with MariaDB. Thank you for watching.